Today, I'd like to read to you a short passage from my cultural memoir that I published this year, My Japan. Before this passage, I talk about the Japanese concept of natural, and I use the word sonomama, which means as is, and I write that perhaps sonomama, as is, is the best way in Japanese to describe the word natural. At first glance, Japanese art tends to twist things, to warp things, to ijiru, fiddle with what is natural. But the goal is to twist and warp an ijiru to such an extent that you take the object from its sonomama state through a series of transformations until you come full circle back again to something resembling sonomama. You create the new sonomama, turning as is into as was. By doing this, you make the passage of time an integral element of the work itself. There's a common phrase in Japanese that describes complete perfection, kanzen muketsu. This is one goal of Western art, to create a beauty that is complete, perfect, and enduring. What comes to mind is John Keats's poem, Beginning a Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever. But the goal of Japanese art is different. It is to create something that does not last, that fades with time and expresses the fleeting nature of life. Its message is Shogyo Mujo, the Buddhist precept that all is vanity and evanescence. There is no such thing as permanence. A thing of beauty is a joy for now, allowing you to appreciate, savor, and live more fully in this moment in time. Japanese art seeks to reveal truth and beauty to the observer in an instant before the doors close again and it is no longer seen until the next artistic revelation shines a light before your eyes.